Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. My video lesson today is on reflections, which are mirror images over a line of reflection. Our objectives today are that you will identify reflections and you will reflect figures in the X and Y axis of the coordinate plane. Here's the question I'd like you thinking about today as we proceed through the lesson. How can you tell when a transformation is a reflection and what effect does a reflection have on congruence? So be thinking about this and I hope you can answer it by the end of the video. Here's our vocabulary for the lesson today. Transformation. This describes how a two-dimensional figure moves on a coordinate plane. A transformation is a change in location by sliding, turning, flipping, or changing size. So the previous video in this playlist was translations, which was sliding. Today, we're gonna to talk about flipping. A reflection is a change in location by flipping over a line of symmetry. The figure flips left or right or up or down over a line of reflection. You can have a reflection over the y-axis, which would be left or right, or over the x-axis, which would be up or down. The x or y-axis is the line of reflection. A reflection is always a congruent image. Image is the figure after transformation. The image is labeled using this apostrophe and as read as prime in math. So for example, if we have triangle ABC and it goes under a transformation, it becomes triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. Congruence is when two figures have the same size and shape. All corresponding sides and corresponding angles will have the same measures. Reflections in our world. So here's an image of a picture that has a horizon or landscape over the water. So our horizon line is our line of reflection. Notice that this mirror image in the water, everything above the horizon is completely reflected, same size and shape over the line of reflection. Here's another example of a reflection in our real world. Here is a mirror on a car, and you can see that this person's got a camera and he's taking a picture, and his reflection is a mirror image. Now it's your turn to see if you can identify a reflection. So I want to know, is the blue image a reflection of the green figure, and how do you know? Please pause the video now, come back when you're done. Welcome back. So yes, the figures are congruent. The blue figure has been reflected over the line of reflection, and you can see that it is flipped. So the corresponding vertices are the same distance from the line of reflection. If you folded this, if it was on paper and you folded it on this line of reflection, then these figures would completely overlap because they're congruent and each vertice is the same distance from the line of reflection. Here's another one. Is the blue image a reflection of the green figure and how do you know? Please pause, come back when you're ready. Welcome back. So this one is a no. This has, the green figure has been translated down to the blue location. So it's a slide or a translation. If we folded on this line of reflection, the figures would not overlap. So yes, they appear to be congruent. However, the blue image has been translated and not flipped over or reflected over that line of reflection. Your turn. Is the blue image a reflection of the green figure and how do you know? Please pause and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. So in this case, we're gonna say no right off the bat because they are the same shape, but they are clearly not the same size. 
so it cannot be a reflection if they are not congruent images. If you fold it on this line of reflection, they would not be the same. One more for you to try. Is the blue image a reflection of the green figure? And how do you know? Please pause, come back when you're ready. Welcome back. So here's our solution. We're gonna say that yes, these figures are congruent and the blue image has been flipped. So if we look at each vertice, these are corresponding and the same distance from each side of the line of the reflection and here, same distance from the line of reflection, and here, same distance. If we folded on this diagonal line, they would overlap and be the same. So remember, a line of reflection could be a horizontal line, a vertical line, or even a diagonal line. Now let's talk about reflections in a coordinate plane. To reflect a figure in a coordinate plane, Reflect all points over the line of reflection one at a time. That's the best advice I can give you as we go through this lesson. One point at a time. And label the new points of the image created with this apostrophe. So that's your prime. So again, we're going to do one at a time. So, but right here, I just want to first bring the image. This is what it'll look like. We'll go through the steps in a minute. So this would be the image, the reflected image, reflected over the y-axis. Let's make note, here is A, here is its reflected image, A prime. A is five units from the y-axis. A prime is five units from the y-axis. They are the same distance from the line of reflection. Let's look at B. B is two units. B prime is also two units. C. Here we go, one, two, three units, C prime, one, two, three units. So all points and their images are the same distance from the line of reflection. So we're gonna use this to do it ourselves. So we're gonna reflect in the x-axis first. To reflect a figure in the x-axis, we're gonna use the x-axis as our line of reflection and reflect each point over the same distance. Then we're gonna label each reflected point with this apostrophe or prime. So here's our problem that we've been given. Reflect this figure in the x-axis. First thing we wanna do is identify our x-axis. That is our line of reflection. So we're gonna take this image and reflect it over. So we're going from the second quadrant to the third quadrant. We're reflecting it over, so it's gonna go down. So we're gonna start with A. A is two units above the x-axis, so A prime is gonna be two units below. So we are going to plot A prime and label it. B, four units above, so we're gonna go four units below, plot B prime. C is five units above, so we need to go five units below and plot our point and label it and draw our triangle. So now the image is congruent to the original figure since each point was moved the same distance. So since we've moved each of these vertices the same distance, then we haven't changed its size or its shape. Now let's write a rule for reflecting in the x-axis using our work. So this is the work we just did on the previous slide. So here are the vertices locations for each of the original figure, A, negative 4, 2, B, negative 1, 4, and C was negative 5, 5. Now let's write down the labels and the locations of A prime, B prime, and C prime. Negative 4, negative 2, negative 1, negative 4, negative 5, negative 5. Now we're going to make an observation. If you look at the x-coordinate of each point, they're the same. So the x-coordinate of the original figure and the x-coordinate of the reflected point are the same x-coordinate. Now let's look at the y-coordinates. 2, negative 2, 4, negative 4, 5, negative 5. The y's are all opposites. So here's our rule when reflecting in the x-axis. 
your original ordered pair, the x-coordinate stays the same when you flip over the x-axis, and the y-coordinate is the opposite. Now it's your turn. I would like you to reflect this figure in the x-axis. Please pause the video now, reflect the figure, come back when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. Let's review the solution together. So we're being asked to reflect in the x-axis. So the first thing I'm going to do is identify that my x-axis is my line of reflection. So I'm going to reflect over. So a is 2 above, a prime 2 below. b prime 1 above, b, b is 1 above, sorry, b prime 1 below. c is 5 above, c prime is going to be 5 below. And there we have our figure. So A went from 2, 2, same X coordinate, opposite Y. So it checks. B was at 5, 1, and B prime is at 5, negative 1. Again, X coordinates are the same. Y are opposite. C, 3, 5. C prime, 3, negative 5. Again, same X, opposite Ys. So the x-coordinates are the same, and the y-coordinates are the opposite when you reflect in the x-axis. All right, let's talk about reflections in the y-axis. To reflect a figure in the y-axis, we're going to use the y-axis as the line of reflection and reflect each point over the same distance. And again, we're going to label each reflected point with that apostrophe or prime. So here's our problem. We're going to reflect this in the y-axis. So here is our triangle. I'm going to note that this vertical axis, our y, is our line of reflection. So we're going to flip over or go to the right. So we're going from the second quadrant to the first. So here we go. Let's start with A. A is five units from the y-axis. So A prime is going to be five in the opposite direction. So plot my point and label it. B is two units from the y-axis. Now we're going to plot it two units on the other side and label it B prime. C is four units and then four units. Plot and label and draw your triangle. So the image is congruent to the original figure since each point moved the same distance and the same direction. All right, let's write a rule for this. So here are our locations for vertices A, B, and C. A was negative 5, 1, B, negative 2, 0, and C, negative 4, 4. Then our image, A was 5, 1, B prime was 2, 0, and C prime was 4, 4. Again, let's look. Our y coordinates this time are all the same, and our x coordinates are the opposites. So our rule is our ordered pair of our original figure when translated in the uh, reflected in the y axis. X is opposite, y coordinate stays the same. So when we reflect in the x axis, the x coordinate stays the same. When we reflect in the y axis, the y coordinate stays the same, and the other coordinate is the opposite. Your turn. I would like you to reflect this figure in the y axis. Please pause the video now, come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. Here's our solution. So again, we're going to start with A. A is 1 away. Let's identify our line of reflection first. Here we go, our y axis. So we're going to flip it to the left, first quadrant to second. So A is one unit. We're going to go one unit over the line of reflection and label. B is four over, reflect it, four over, and label it. C is two over, reflect it over two, and label, and draw your triangle. So a went from 1, 2, 1, 2, to negative 1, positive 2. Reflecting over the y, the y coordinate stays the same. The x is the opposite. b was 4, 1, b prime, negative 4, 1. Again, y coordinate the same, 
x coordinate are opposite, and c went from 2, 5 to negative 2, 5. y coordinates the same, x coordinates the opposite. So if you remember the rule, you could do this without graph paper. Noting our x coordinates are opposites, y coordinates are the same. So the axis that you're reflecting over, that coordinate stays the same. All right, your turn. Remember my advice, one point at a time. Go ahead and pause. Come back when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. Let's go over the solution. So we're reflecting in the x-axis. First thing I'm going to note is my line of reflection is that horizontal axis x. And now I'm going to be flipping over it. So most of my points, my two points here are going to go over it. C is going to go the other direction. So let's start with A. A is 1, 2, 3, 4 below. So A prime is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4 above. Plot and label. B is 2 below. So now we're going to plot B prime, 2 above. And here's the trick. C is 1 above. Therefore, when you reflect it, C goes 1 below. And draw your triangle. Keeping in mind, even though this looks weird, if you folded this graph on the line of reflection, it would all overlap. So again, remember my tip. One point at a time and reflect it over. So A went from negative 5, negative 4, to negative 5, positive 4. X-axis, X-coordinates stay the same, Y-coordinates are opposite. B went from negative 1, negative 2, to B prime, which was negative 1, positive 2. Again, X was the same, B, uh, the Y-coordinate of B was the opposite. C negative 3, positive 1, to negative 3, negative 1. The x-coordinates are the same, and the y-coordinates are opposites. So that is my lesson on reflections today, and I thank you for joining me at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon and learn all about rotations. Have a great day.